Hey there, and I do have a personal connection to this story, but I hope that my experience can help others. As careful as I am with my puppy, as much as I check his paws and watch where he plays, he just had his second surgery yesterday from a foxtail or a similar plant stuck in his paw, and they sure are seeing a ton of similar stories here at ASIC. This time of year, I think not a day goes by that we don't see them of some type. Foxtails, a dog's arch nemesis. <laughs> the grassy weed looks soft and fluffy, much like your pooch, but this plant is far from friendly. We'll see them form an abscess in the lung that can cause a pneumothorax or a lung lobe abscess. So those dogs often come in and present very critically ill because they can't breathe. <laughs> VCA ASIC veterinarian Dr. Ingrid Judge is known around town as the foxtail expert. So when a dog has been outside in an area with dry grass or weeds and they start sneezing, bring them in immediately. Those first few hours are when we're able to recover them the best. Once they get again past the oral pharynx, it's very difficult to recover them. Um, they can get into the trachea and into the lung tissue and then it's very, very difficult. This time of year, the vegetation's dry and foxtail seeds used for populating are spiny. We see the dogs that will sniff dry grass or weed areas and end up with something in their nose or they'll run through it and then end up with it in their paw. So and the plant goes hitchhiking. It does. And that's when foxtails strike, leading to fungal infections or far worse. The thing that really scares me about them is that they seem to sometimes go in one side of the dog's body and come out another. That is true. Or I've actually seen cases where they come out over the dorsal back area with a little abscess. So foxtails have no limitations as to where they can migrate, and so they're actually very dangerous. This is another pooch predator. This is a plant called fillery, similar to a foxtail, very invasive as well. One of these was actually found in Mumford's paw uh, when he was about two months old. So be very careful. You can also take your vet into the emergency clinic and they can do a CT scan to check for sure. But if your dog is showing signs of sneezing, of scratching, or of licking his paw, then you might have a foxtail stuck, so get him checked out. Reporting live with Mumford here in West LA, I'm Haley Winslow. Back to you. Is Mumford over it at this point? Told you not to embarrass me on the news, Mumford. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little shy there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Unlike his mom. I know. <laughs>